Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelley. Do you know about pollinators? A pollinator is any animal that moves pollen from plant to plant successfully. Do you know why pollinators are important? Well, just think of your favorite fruit or flower. Without pollinators, there wouldn't be any fruits or flowers to enjoy. So it is important that we take care of our pollinators. You are already familiar with some of them, like bees, butterflies, and moths. But did you know that many other animals can also be pollinators? Such as snails, lemurs, hummingbirds, mongooses, lizards and geckos, shrews, honey possums, bats, and even flies. Let's take a closer look at some of them. This is the black and white ruffed lemur, and it is the largest pollinator in the world. And this is the tree they pollinate. It's called the traveler's palm, and it can grow as tall as 40 feet. The lemurs use their agile hands to open the flower bracts and then stick their long snouts and tongues inside the flowers to get to the nectar. Then the pollen gets stuck to their fur and they carry it to the next flower they visit. No other animal in this habitat is strong enough or agile enough to pollinate this plant. In tropical places and in deserts, bats have an important role as pollinators. They are attracted to flowers that open at night and are white or dull colored with a strong smell. Bats pollinate more than 300 fruits like mangoes and bananas. When the bats find a flower they like, they feed on its nectar and then eat the insects inside. So the pollen sticks to their faces until it can be transferred off to the next flower. Beetles are also pollinators and there are more types of pollinating beetles than any other species of pollinator. They are attracted to white or dull colored bowl shaped flowers that open during the day. Beetles go in search of pollen and other flower parts to eat. And as they do this, some of the pollen gets stuck to their bodies and they carry it on to the next flower. In the United States, hummingbirds are particularly important pollinators of wildflowers. With their long beaks and tongues, they can reach deep inside tubular-shaped flowers to reach the nectar hidden inside. As they thrust their beaks inside the flowers, their faces become dusted in pollen. Hummingbirds need to eat often, and they carry the pollen on their faces onto the next flower they visit. I hope you have enjoyed looking at a few of the many unusual pollinators that live all around us. Thank you for joining us and stay curious.